Hi everyone, welcome to Perfections, the channel that is all about perfume perceptions. Today we are going to talk about Tonka perfumes. They are very good for fall and winter time and uh, I'm very passionate about them. <laughs> so before starting, if you're new to the channel, welcome and consider subscribing. Here it's all about perfumes, online type. Um, if you are instead coming back, thank you for your continued support and welcome back. I'm really happy to have you here again. So let's start. Let's start from the perfume that really, really started uh, my love for Tonka. And this is Tonka Imperial by Guerlain. The first time, first time I smelled this perfume, the time has stopped. You know, like when you fall in love at first sight, it was the same with this perfume. Um, I love the, I loved it completely. The opening is stunning. It has this uh, almondy tonka with some aromatic facets, and it's it's just to die for. And then it dries down to a warm, uh, mellow tonka. Amazing. I really love this perfume, but it's very expensive, unfortunately, as we know. Especially in the new packaging, the raised the price, which was really unfortunate. Um, so, this year, of course, I bought the new Chalimar Planker, the Millesim Tonka. And, uh, yeah, this is a beautiful perfume, however, it's not Tonka Imperial. It's, it's kind of very far from it. I mean, the Tonka has some almondy facets, but, you know, very little. And mostly it's very warm. It's a very warm deep Tonka. And it has a lot of Chalimar in it. Um, in the opening, I also smell some, for very little time, some animalic uh, facets of Shalimar, and then the leathery facets are quite prominent. I really like them, so, but I'm telling you. Um, and this is, you know, it has this uh, powdery aura and so on, uh, which really melts well with the uh, Tonka because the Tonka can also be powdery. Uh, I think, uh, you know, it's an extremely pleasant and elegant perfume, if you like this type of perfume. And it's perfect for fall and winter, they really nailed it down with the uh, release time. And this is for my Caroline's Tonkas. Then, I have several more. Let's start from this one, which is not on display. I have several not on display. So we have Mirren Tonka by Jo Malone. This is a very famous perfume. I guess you already heard of it, but it's a, essentially it's a perfume um, with Tonka bean and myrrh, but other notes as well, of course. Um, it depends a lot on your skin, whether you're going to pull out more of the myrrh or the, of the Tonka. Unfortunately, I pull more of the myrrh, uh, more than I would like to. And, and myrrh is actually a note that I like, I enjoy, but um, I kind of, uh, the perfume is kind of unbalanced on my skin. So I usually spray it on the clothes. <laughs> um, and for instance, for my partner's skin, this one smells really, really amazing. So you have to try it on your skin. That's my uh, recommendation. Beautiful perfume though. And it's well performing because it's, a, it's an intense version. So, uh, well, let's talk about one of these ones. So here we have Turmeric Latte by Lush. So this is essentially a perfume with tonka, um, cardamom, and other spices, and it really reminds of uh, Tobacco Vanilla by Tom Ford in the uh, dry down. It's not a dupe, but it has that vibe, so it's in that group of uh, uh, fragrances. So if you like that one, you will like also this one. And yeah, it's super performing, it's strong. I think in the opening, uh, as many of the Lush perfumes, it feels a bit that it needs to settle down. But after that, after it settles down, it's a very pleasant perfume. Then, uh, well, talking of perfumes that are supposed to be vibing with Tobacco Vanille by Tom Ford, I have here Tobacco and Tonka Bean by Banana Republic, and I'll tell you me immediately that this one does not smell to me at all anyhow similar to Tobacco Vanille. I think this is a very mellow Tonka, and it's a kind of vanillic and uh, not like too sweet but very soft and airy and i find it very pleasant i think it's one of my favorites here in the bunch um but it doesn't really smell like tobacco vanilla in my opinion 
or tomatoes. I think it is very much tonka centric and it focuses on the uh, vanillic aspects of tonka. Uh, performance is not that great. What else do we want to talk about? Oh, let's talk about another mellow tonka. So this is Renaissance Tonka. So this is a perfume that um, essentially uh, combines uh, honey and tonka and spices, uh, sweet spices. Uh, mostly you're gonna smell the honey and the tonka and vanillic aspects. Uh, I think it does, yeah, also when you spray it at the beginning, it's very pleasant because it also has these almondy uh, tonka touches, which I personally really like. Uh, the performance is good with this one, it does last very long. Uh, projection is not great uh, after 2-3 hours, but uh, you keep smelling it, which is really important, so it's uh, it's not a perfume you get a nose mix too. So I highly recommend it, it's Tonka by Reminiscence. I think it's my favorite of this line by Reminiscence. Uh, then, let's talk of this one that we have here on display. This is Tonka Mask by Alisa Ashley. Alisa Ashley is part of the same uh, company as Paris Monte Carlo, the niche brand, but also another historical brand from uh, for, from perfumery, which I am not sure now about whether it's Caron or not, but maybe I'm wrong, so don't take my word for it. I think I know that one. Uh, anyway, um, so this is a brand that uh, has been created by the owner of this bigger umbrella brand, a uh, very historical brand, in the 50s or 60s for his um, daughter, Alisa indeed, and uh, yeah, this is one of the latest releases, and this is Tonka Mask, Mask by Luca Maffei, uh, a niche a perfumer that works a lot with many niche brands, um, so this Tonka Mask essentially smells like a dark Tonka, um, I don't remember the nose by heart, I think there was cacao in here, so um, what I smell it's labdanum and tonka, essentially a very um, resinous type of tonka, very dark, very uh, very beautiful to be honest. It has patterns, and uh, I think uh, you will like it if you like dark perfumes. And uh, it this is very loud. I mean can be a very loud perfume, but I don't think performance is uh, too strong, you know, it's it's okay. Uh, you can you can go spray it uh, and you're not going to, to chuck people out. But yeah, you have to try on your skin. And I have another one which is also dark. It has some moments where it's a dark tonka, but it doesn't, it's not a dark tonka all the time, so that makes it very interesting. And this is the newest uh, and latest uh, uh, perfume on the Boucher Online, private line, Pep Tonka de Canaima. Uh, Canaima is a place, I think in Venezuela, where they um, produce a lot of, uh, of, uh, of tonka beans. Uh, and this perfume opens up with a very dark tonka. And I think you can, even if it's in the, I think it's in, it's in the uh, base notes, you can smell immediately the labdanum, and it's pretty strong, to be honest. Um, so essentially what you're gonna smell is the labdanum and the tonka in the opening, very strong, very deep, very dark, a bit like, you know, the tonka mask by Alice Ashley. It's not the same, but you know, that dark type of resinous tonka. Then it goes into the almondy tonka, and it starts to be powdery, and then and it starts to be always um, mellow. It starts to be mellow and soft. And it becomes softer and softer with a dry down, and it goes more in the vanillic direction uh, of tonka, you know, because tonka has uh, se several facets. Uh, it can be, um, you know, it has facets that are um, vanilla-like, others that are almond-like, others that are tobacco-like, and more. Um, so in, this goes from dark, a bit uh, cacao-like, then goes to almondy, then goes to vanillic. And the more and more it dries down, the softer and softer it becomes. And yeah, and this perfume lasts very long. Uh, projection is not amazing, meaning that uh, I think it is good for what the perfume is, because as I said, it becomes softer and softer in the tonka. And so it's, it's not a lot of perfume, you know, it's a perfume that will project about half a meter 
uh, maybe a bit more, but you know, especially in the beginning. But you know, after two, three hours, it will be maybe half a meter, and then it will get closer and closer to your skin. Um, I really like it. I think it's one of my favorite among these ones. Uh, of course, uh, the other two are Tonka Imperial and Shalimar. I think uh, this is, could be the second or the third position, but the first position is Tonka Imperial, and there's nothing that compares to it, uh, to my nose. Uh, but yeah, so these are some of my Tonka perfumes uh, and uh, I will show you more in the future. I hope you like this selection and if you did, give the video a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and uh, don't forget to activate the... Um, sorry, I was saying, I got distracted. Don't forget to activate the notification bell so that you're not gonna miss my next videos. Um, see you next time, bye!